hello everyone today i am going to create this uh, corner window with the sliding door this uh, corner window is fully parametric and you can change its uh, height width and you can also open and close the sliding door and uh, also change its width if you look at the plan you can see that this corner window is at an angle of is joined at an angle of 45 degrees at the corner so when you select and uh, open this dialog box you, you can see that you can change the uh, you can open and close the doors with by adding values in this parameter of opening distance you can also change the width of the door according to your own requirements so this is a parametric family which also opens and close you can also change the height of this uh, window and you can also change its width but uh, unfortunately when you change the width you have to move it to its position in the floor plan this is some sort of an error which i'm not able to resolve for now and when you select this window you can also change its sill level either you want it at a floor level or at some higher level you can change the value from here so now let's start this tutorial for that open the window template file of revit go to the interior elevation and from this dialog box you can change the height width of this opening and also change its cell level then go to the floor plan and add a reference plane the shortcut for is a shortcut key for which is rp and add it at this reference plane at a distance of two inches from the other reference plane and then lock this dimension now select extrusion and draw a rectangle like this lock these three sides and delete this this fourth line and and also draw a line at an angle of 45 degrees like this and add this angular parameter of 45 degrees and then select and lock this angular parameter as well align this reference plane with this blue dot and lock it down so this chamfer this uh, 45 degree line it is very important and this is where uh, basically the corner window will join in the project file okay after that now select the void form and draw the profile and also make sure to lock the sides as you can see in the video make this line to be constrained with this reference plane and always make sure to be on safe side that you uh, add an angular parameter and lock that as well then go to the interior elevation click ok now before we move it let's place uh, two horizontal reference plane one at a distance of two inches from the top and one at a distance of two inches from below after you have placed these reference planes place dimensions and lock it down again place dimension and lock it down okay now select this white extrusion and with the help of these arrows drag it lock it down again drag it and lock it and this is how it looks like in the 3d now go to the floor plan and when you you can see that when you change the width of the, uh, the wall the extrusion and the white extrusion moves along with it now let's place 
a reference plane here add a dimension here select this dimension and assign a parameter to it I'm going to name it door width let's add the value of 256 inches to this parameter Now place a reference plane at the left side of this uh, reference plane at a distance of 2 inches. Lock that dimension and from the center reference plane place, at, place two reference planes, one above it and the other one below it at 2 inches uh, distance and make sure to lock both of them. Now select the extrusion command and draw a rectangle like this make sure to lock these three sides and delete this one and place a line here lock it down trim these sides and place an angular dimension of 45 degree angle here and lock it down now go to the in interior elevation and drag this arrow to meet it here lock it down and drag this arrow to meet it in with the above reference plane and lock it down now again go to the floor plan and select void extrusion and create the uh, profile for the void extrusion as shown Make sure to lock all of the sides as you can see in the video. And also make sure that you place an angular dimension of 45 degrees here and lock it down. Go to interior elevation and place two reference plane at a distance of 2 inches at here and the other one here. Make sure to lock these dimensions like this and select and drag this arrow till here, lock it down, then drag this above arrow to meet this reference plane and lock it down. To draw the glass, I'm going to first I'm going to place some reference planes as you can see in the video. Make it equal, then place two reference plane at a distance of one by four inches towards on one on the upper side and one on this lower side. And once you have drawn it, place dimensions and make sure to lock it down. Now select extrusion command to draw the glass as shown in the video and when you draw the profile make sure to make sure that you have locked all the sides. Exit this mode and go to elevation, drag this arrow to meet this reference plane, lock it down and drag this arrow to meet this reference plane and lock it down. Now our fixed window is complete. Now I need to uh, draw that sliding door. For that I have placed this reference plane and then place a dimension here. Select this dimension and add a parameter to it. I am going to name it opening distance then i am going to add the value of one feet to this parameter now select the extrusion command select this rectangle and draw a rectangle here lock these three sides and then place a dimension from this side towards this side 
select this dimension and assign it the parameter of door width which you have previously drawn. Go to elevation and drag this arrow to meet this reference plane lock it down and drag this one to meet this reference plane and lock it down. Go to the floor plan and here select the void extrusion to create an opening within this sliding door. Draw a rectangle like this. Lock these two sides. Then place a dimension here and another one here. Change both of these dimensions to 2 inches and lock it down. In the elevation drag this arrow to meet this reference plane lock it down and then drag this arrow to meet this reference plane lock it down. Now in the floor plan add some reference planes uh, before drawing the glass. Uh, these reference planes are drawn in the same way which I have previously drawn in the case of that window. Now select extrusion command to place the glass select rectangle and place it like this. Make sure to lock all of these four sides as shown. Then click OK, go to the elevation and drag this arrow to meet this reference plane, lock it down and then drag this arrow to meet this reference plane, lock it down. Now select the extrusion command, set the reference plane to this surface and draw a rectangle here. Uh, here I am going to draw the a handle for the window. Lock these two sides and then place dimensions like this. And then press this equal sign so that so that if you change the height of the window, the the handle will remain at the center. Now give it an extrusion and value of 2.5 inches, click OK, then go to the 3D, it is placed like this, go to the left elevation, select the void extrusion command, set the reference plane to this surface, press tab button if the surface does not appear and then draw the profile for the void extrusion as shown in the parameter as shown in the video and also make sure to log all of the sides and the dimensions which you see in this video And now click OK, go to the floor plan and drag this arrow to meet here and lock it down. So the handle is now complete. Go to 3D. 
uh, assign material parameters to all of these uh, extrusions as shown in the video uh, so basically there are three types of uh, materials uh, the frame the glass and the handle Now go to the floor plan and here add this control, double horizontal control button here so that you can easily mirror it in the project file. Now save this uh, family of corner window and then open a new architectural template project file. And now place two walls uh, to be joined at an angle of 90 degrees and hence making a corner like this. Now load this family into the project and then place one here, place one window here and the other one here. Click on this control button to move it outside and then move this window to meet this edge and now you can see that how beautiful it has joined at an angle of 45 degrees here. So a uh, corner window is now placed on the wall as you can see. You can change the sill level of this window from here. I am going to place it at the sill level of 0 feet. And from this dialog box, you can change the height, the width, the height and width of this. Uh, the window and and when you change the width unfortunately you have to move it to its position in the floor plan every time this is some sort of an issue which i'm not able to be resolved for now okay and, and you can also change the width of this of the sliding of the sliding door at this family and the width of the window will adjust according to it you can also open and close these uh, doors as you can see in the video so that's all for today i hope you like this tutorial if you have any kind of difficulty or query related to revit you can ask me anytime i will meet you guys in the next video till then goodbye and take care and most importantly don't forget to like share and subscribe